What's going on everybody? Dan here at Beard of the North bringing you another review. If you enjoy the content and you're new here please feel free to hit that thumbs up and maybe hit that subscribe button. If you've been here a while as usual you know I appreciate you. Thank you for supporting the channel. Today I'm bringing you another review from Hanyaker. Welcome back. Hanyaker. Adam is no stranger to this channel. I fully support him. You know, everybody here knows that I love Hanyaker. And I'm going to be looking at his two newest scents that he dropped in early January. Right now he had to have surgery on his arm. Had to put a muscle back, connect it, re reconnect it to his arm or his bones. So he's a little bit out of commission. Probably won't see a whole lot from him this year, but He'll, he'll still be trying to put out some stuff that kind of put a damper on him, but it was something that he had to do. But I'll give you a little bit of a background just to get you caught up on what, you know, what Adam's about. Now, Adam Hahn out of Peckin, Illinois, started the company in 2019. 2020 was probably his biggest year. He dropped a lot of bangers that year, and it was a good year for him. And then 2021 kind of came around and he felt uncreative. He tried to go a route of putting out what he thought people would like and he wasn't inspired to really create anything. It was kind of damp on him and he was a little disappointed on the way the year went. Granted, his main line that he norm he's really proud of, he sold quite a bit, but a lot of the new ones he put out he wasn't very satisfied with and you know there were a couple that weren't him so he vowed that this year he was going back to his roots he was gonna put out stuff that he really liked and it was kind of hopefully everybody else likes it so I'll give you a rundown on his prices real quick his oils and his butters and his balms all run you 1650 and then his co-wash and his regular wash at 17 bucks pretty right in that range of affordability right in that average so to say <laughs> so his ingredients you got jojoba oil sweet almond oil avocado oil argan oil castor oil vitamin e and then your fragrance and essentials and in his butters he's uh, he got shea butter and coconut butter now he tweaked his butters this year which i'm very happy for because he took the beeswax down to bare minimum like almost nothing so they're much closer to a true butter in my opinion and I am over the moon about that it makes you, the beard feel a lot lighter a lot softer the beeswax not holding it down or feel, making it feel heavy as much granted his butters were in a lot of top fives anyway so I'm pretty sure this is gonna make them even higher that's my thought Two cents I'm looking at today are Whipping Post. Oh, wrong one. Whipping Post. Love the background that he's doing in his labels. And then Terra Firma. Back up a little. Let it focus. So, scent profile on Whipping Post. We've got bourbon wood, charred wood smoke, aged saddle leather, and tumbleweed. Now, I'm super excited for him to be going back to what he likes and what he, true Hanyaker. And this Whipping Post is, yeah. Mmm. <clears throat> Right off the bat, you get that charred wood smoke. Like, the charred wood smoke is strong. And the bourbon wood is there. You get a little bit of the sweetness, spice kinda to the bourbon wood. That charred wood smoke is gonna hit you in the face. Now, this is probably 
the most changing beard oil that I've that I own. This is going to I mean right off the bat you get that charred wood smoke that bourbon wood and then once it gets in beard and you wear it for a while the change that it does all right man it turns into this like it's a spicy kind of scent to me and i mean i know that comes from the bourbon uh the leather starts to kick through and it's an aged saddle leather it's not like a new car seat leather <laughs> so to say it just it transforms so well into something that it's not overbearing where that smoke at first is super strong but then when it changes in beard and it tones back you get a little more of the bourbon wood a little bit of that spice from the bourbon and that leather starts coming through probably my top honyaker scent to be honest i was a little iffy at first too with how strong the smoke was but that's the point of giving it a shot in beard and not just being a bottle sniffer. Now to showcase the new butter, the new butter used to give you a little bit of resistance. This, so smooth. With that little bit of beeswax, just barely anything in there now. I applaud him for that. <laughs> it's really good. Makes the beard feel nice and soft and light. You notice a difference. Terra firma. This one was my second favorite of the two, but it's. Now we'll go and send profile. Feng Shui wood tobacco, oak moss, amber, black pepper, and bergamot. Now for me, in bottle, it's got like, almost like a sweeter, lighter, floral scent to it when you first smell it in bottle. And that can be a little off-putting at first. But when you give it a shot in beard, I mean, the more the, the sweeter scents that are in this, like the bergamot and the amber, they take a back seat. It becomes more of a real earthy, darker scent, in my opinion. And it's one that makes me think of walking through my backwoods. And I use that as a reference for a lot of the, the earthier wood scents that I have. And it's because it's the best that I can describe it. and with like some wild flowers you know it's it's got semi floral scent to it and it's it's quite pleasing i enjoy it quite a bit the the if he keeps going this way through 22 even if we have not as many scents come out of him if he's doing it where he's feeling inspired he's got some help from his wife or maybe his son to get some new stuff out. If he keeps going this way, he's gonna have a banger year. I could almost guarantee that. So, obviously, I recommend you picking up these scents. They're true Adam. Yeah, I, I fully support it. As everybody knows, I am an affiliate with him, so I will put my code over here. Feel free to use that if you wanna pick these up or anything else that he has. You got to restock up or something. Go ahead and use it. Help support the channel. Help support Adam. And with that being said, I will link all of his stuff like usual down in the description. If you have tried Hanyaker or you haven't tried Hanyaker, say something down in the comments. Let me know. Tell me what you think. So with that, just keep growing that beard. <laughs>